Hello, it's John Heaton, and this is a video response to Rob by 680's five questions. I've got the answers in front of me. I think they're in the right order. Um, I must admit, my first choices on all the questions were, were Beatles related. So what I've done is picked my Beatles related choice and then showed you my non-Beatles related choice. But the first question was, what record did I first play on my new turntable? And I only got that recently, and the answer is my stereo white album. So there's no point in giving you a non-Beatles choice for that one, because that's a fact. Okay, the second one, uh, favourite live album? Well, it is Wings Over America, for sure. And check out my review of Paul's albums, and you'll see this is very close to the top. But non-Beatles, I will pick this one from Traffic. And this one's interesting because Dave Mason has got back together with Traffic, with Steve Winwood. Jim Capaldi and co, and um, it was somewhat of a re reunion concert, so there's a couple of tracks from his Alone Together album, as well as um, some traffic classics like 40,000 Heaven, so good album. Uh, Favourite picture disc? I had a few choices here, but I'm going to go for this picture disc of A Single Man, which is, I think it's the first Elton album I recorded, and it's I've got a soft spot, soft spot for it still. It's got Song for Guy, one of the first songs I learned on the piano, Shine On Through, and this is a beautiful picture disc. And I picked this up in my, what, what was then my favorite record shop, record and tape exchange in Notting Hill Gate. Favorite soundtrack? Well, I'm not really keen on soundtracks as a whole, I, I must admit, but I've um, got a couple of choices. Well, my Beatles choice was, <laughs> Let's let it be. But in case that's a cheat, uh, Magic Christian, a, a film from 1969 or 70 uh, with Peter Sellers um, and Ringo Starr, and, uh, and guest appearances from Spike Milligan and John Cleese and Michael Aspel and various others. And this is a really funny movie. And the, the, actually, the original soundtrack included the Thunderclap Newman track, Something in the Air, which finishes the movie, the hilarious sequence at the end of this movie, when all the businessmen are jumping into the swimming pool um, of mud and shit and getting the money out. So I recommend that scene in the movie. But that, that song is not on... Th this is a kind of quasi-soundtrack which, which from, from Badfinger, because Badfinger had three songs from the movie, Carry On Till Tomorrow, and uh, Rock of All Ages, and the single Come and Get It, which was written by McCartney. So, soundtrack. And then the other one I could have picked was The Sting, the soundtrack to The Sting, but I don't have the official soundtrack, I just have this Scott Joplin album, which, as you can see from the sticker, includes three tracks from The Sting. Okay, now we're on to box set. And, uh, well, the, um, my favorite is this one. Uh, even though the third disc, the Apple Jam, is dismissible, it's a glorious, presentation-wise, it's a glorious package, and uh, I wish I'd been around at the time when this came out, old enough to have bought it when it first came out. I, I, as it is, I got it when I was 14 or 15 in the late 70s. Uh, it's not in bad condition, considering I've had it that length of time. Uh, but non-Beatles related, I've got to pick this one. I know this will please you, Rockboy680, because you've got this in the background on your videos. And uh, this, this basically has the, this nice booklet, um, the face the music back cover picture, and nice packaging face the music, El Dorado, and on the third day. And it was brilliant to discover these albums because there's some hidden gems on them for sure. And I was pleased to discover them, having already discovered New World Record and Out of the Blue at the time. So, that was it. That's my responses. Thanks for watching. See you next time.